Hello, my name is Harpit Singh. I will be presenting my research on microwave synthesis of composites of polyaniline nanofibers and ruthenium nanoparticles. A little overview. Polyaniline is a polymer which have properties of both metals and plastics. That means it can have electrical conductivity and accessibility. Polyaniline or penny have two forms, amaryldin base form and amaryldin salt form. It can switch by using acid-base exposures. Penny can form higher surface area nanofibers. These nanofibers can be used as a matrix to immobilize and disperse metal nanoparticles, which can be used for sensors and catalysis. Our objective is to combine penny nanofibers with metal nanoparticles to degrade the Congo red by breaking the azo bonds of Congo red. Congo red is a pollutant found in the waste streams of several industries. Several studies has been done in past, however, penny nanofibers and ruthenium nanoparticles never been used together. So the current objective of the research is to find the right conditions to form the composites of penny nanofibers containing ruthenium nanoparticles. We use ruthenium chloride and ruthenium iodide as a source of ruthenium ion to form ruthenium nanoparticles. And we are testing the overnight and rapid adsorptions for the ruthenium uptake into the penny nanofibers. Methods to prepare polyaniline, we take aniline and APS dissolve in HCl and do a rapid mixing, which gives a penny ES form. To change it to penny EB, we treat it with the base. Then we add ruthenium salt and do the reduction by sodium borohydride in the microwave. At last, we purify the samples by centrifuging in water. First study is the SEM images of higher temperature and lower time period of microwave synthesis. The pride clusters are presumed to be ruthenium nanoparticles. One minute irradiations at 200 degrees Celsius first produce more discrete particles with fewer large clusters. Next is the comparison between the rapid and the overnight adsorption of ruthenium chloride. In rapid, we can notice there are no clusters, however, in the overnight adsorption, we notice the several clusters, but the penny nanofibers tend to degrade with the overnight adsorptions. At last, tedious analysis for overnight adsorptions of ruthenium chloride. We need to focus on ruthenium and chlorine weight percentage. The ruthenium concentration increases with overnight adsorption as well as chlorines. However, after the reduction, the ruthenium concentration decreases, which might be because of purification process. But for chlorine, we expect it to go to zero, which indicates that the ruthenium have not reduced completely. More study is needed for a rapid adsorption methods and the ruthenium iodide. In conclusion, SEM proves ruthenium iodide produces ruthenium nanoparticles by rapid adsorptions and ruthenium chloride by overnight adsorptions. And EDS proves uptake and retention of ruthenium by penny after microwave irradiations and purification. Future works. Identical studies are needed to be done for ruthenium chloride and ruthenium iodide. More work is needed to be done for microwave power and time. Additional analysis are needed on UV waves, FDIR and TEM. At last, we want to work on the Congo Red Catalysis Reaction. I want to thank everybody for their time.